Today I'm going to be reassembling this clock here, this uh, bedside alarm clock from the uh, from 2013, and I've already completely disassembled it and cleaned all the parts with soap and water and an ultrasonic cleaner. So let's take a look. These are the larger parts. smaller parts. The main thing I don't want to lose here is the little pin that holds the uh, balance spring. So I'll put that back in the <clears throat> That's easy to lose. The hairspring, I mean. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, lubricate uh, and uh, capture these springs. Inserting these springs, a lot of people just kind of brute force them into the frame, and that works great. Um, I had a lot of trouble uh, with the uh, wheels falling out, so um, what I'm going to do is use a regular uh, spring winder to uh, tighten those springs and use cable ties to capture them since the regular clamps are too large. But first, uh, before I went for the spring winder, I thought I'd try something a lot of other people have done, is I made a um, letdown key out of a uh, spark plug wrench. <clears throat> Making a slot in it and winding the, the, expanding the slot. And then using the assembled frame as a, uh, uh, a way to wind the uh, spring. But uh, I found a couple of problems with that. One is it put way too much force on the, on the uh, frame. And the other is to tighten up the spring for clamping, I had to tighten it all the way and hold it there, which uh, took a lot of energy. So I found that I can buy a, an alarm uh, chuck which is uh, the same kind of chuck as for, uh, it fits into a regular letdown handle, like that. Yeah. Um, but it has a slot in the end that fits the alarm key that winds around the end of the uh, wheel here. <clears throat> so, One surprise I had is that letting down these springs is, uh, I still haven't figured out exactly how, because, I don't know if you could see it there, the, this spring, this uh, wheel has three clicks molded into the plastic. And so, when if I wanted to uh, use a regular letdown method, why well, I'd have to pull all three of those clicks away from the ratchet to make it work. So I still haven't figured that out. <clears throat> but today I'm going to be winding the springs, so I don't have to worry about that. So. <clears throat> in there. First, let's get the spring on. Let's see. Winding goes that way. So it tightens that way. There it goes. Now I can put this in here. Just like a eight day clock or 31 day clock spring, except this is an awful lot weaker. So there really isn't much to worry about. Oops. It still can, you know, scratch and cut if, uh, <clears throat> if the 
spring breaks while I'm doing this, so I'm going to be wearing these safety glasses. <clears throat> okay. First thing I want to do is oil this spring. I haven't used a brush before, but uh, it's always a first time. And I just want to put a little bit of oil in here. Just a little bit. Because it's going to distribute all the way around. I'm going to wind and unwind it a few times to get that all around. People tend to over oil things, and I think I'm over oiling this. So I'll be standing by with a uh, paper towel. to have the safety glasses and the uh, glove, but hey, oops. Now that it's oiled, I want to capture this spring. And I'm going to do that with a um, cable tie. Instead of a regular clamp. Because a regular clamp just doesn't fit very well into uh, the smaller clock frame. tricky part here is to decide how much to tighten this thing and where to put the cable. So I can always tighten it again. I can't always loosen it. Let's see. Uh, yeah. So this uh, spring will go here. And it's going to forgot what to, oh yeah, it's going to go around a peg here, I think, I don't remember, but I want to kind of get an idea how tight to make this. So 
so that I can still get it on the frame and everything. Okay, that looks tight enough. If it isn't, I can rewind it. <clears throat> okay, that's unwound, I think. Seems like that's not quite. There we go. So that's one spring wound. Lubricating wound. You can see how this is going to fit right there. And yeah, I think it's going to go around that. Oops. I think it's going to go around that post. I'm not sure though. Oh. It's going to go around this post. I could tighten it a little bit. Let's do that. Loosen it too much, or else the uh, arbor would come out of the um, spring. Ouch! Okay, I didn't loosen it enough. Okay, let's look again. Goes in there. It catches there. Good. That'll stay out of the way of a lot of the stuff. Now I can unwind this. Into the other spring. Again. that way. Yeah. Okay. Now this spring, using a winder on a spring this week this and small is kind of academic. It's kind of overkill, but Let's pop the plug. 
Loosening it a couple times to distribute the oil. This uh, mainspring is going to plug in here, so not that much distance. Yeah, I can loosen this a little. Seems like it's loose. Yeah. Okay. That's the mainsprings done. Oh. There. Ta da. 